Hey guys, Michael here again from GuitarGate.com, and I want to show you something silly. Something that I love to do, something that I snagged from fiddle players, like my favorite of all time, Vassar Clements, um, and it's something you don't see a lot of guitar players do, because there's really no theory behind it. Um, it's loose, it's a little showy, so you know, whatever. But, um, you know, fiddle players don't have frets. It's a fretless instrument. So they can easily just glide to the next uh, to the next thing, right? But a lot of times they'll do long little runs, not just short little runs, where they're literally just fluttering from chord tone to chord tone. So what I like to do on guitar is when I'm unsure or just, and if I just want that sound and I feel like doing it, um, if I want to get from one chord to another chord or just you know one spot on the neck to a different spot on the neck. Sometimes I'll just grab a note, start with a chord tone, have your target be another chord tone, either of the key you're in, the same chord, or to whatever change you're trying to hit, and literally just flutter down the neck. And what I mean by flutter, I mean start with a note, gotta keep good pressure on it, you gotta keep your sustain. It always makes sense to sustain in the vibe of the tune. So if it's a triplet vibe, you want to kind of shake in triplets. If it's a straight feel, you want to shake, you know, straight, if you would. But, you know, you just take it, and if I'm going from A to A, I just, you know, you're, you might have to pick a couple times based on how much gain you have or whether it sustains enough. Um, and, you know, you can choose to accentuate over other chord tones when you go down, but you really don't have to think about it that much. It's just, Right? And you can do it in little pockets inside, just, you know, you know, wherever. So I can be in a spot, you know. You can go up, you know. It's a very fun little technique to try. So what I would implore you to do is give it a try, man, give it a shot. Do small moves and long moves. Go up and down. Don't do it randomly. Start at a spot, have a target to end on. Make sure your rhythm matches the rhythm of the tune, you know, the rhythm of your actual you know, vibrato shake. Keep good pressure on your finger. I like to generally use my third finger and see if you can uh, you know, intersperse this wild little technique in your playing because you're not gonna see many other people do it. But it's a cool bluegrass flair that I think works extremely well, um, not just in country stuff, but in rock stuff. I do this in metal situations all the time. And I always get people come up and be like, dude, what the hell was that? I'd be like, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just going from this to that and shaking it a little bit. Do it. 